If you're using food to train your horse, there's a few really important considerations in what type of food is going to be best for what you're training. So anytime that we're using food in training, one of the most important things is making sure that we're using good mechanics and how we feed the horse. And through that, that we're teaching the horse good manners and making sure that they keep good manners. So teaching with food and training with food does not cause pushy behaviors or horses that bite. It's the manner in how the food is used, and if it's used inappropriately, we can encourage these behaviors. But if we use food well, we can have a horse that is actually calmer during their training, that is motivated, that's engaged, and the type of food that we can use will help to determine a little bit of what the horse's level of motivation is, and also in how the food keeps them busy. You're watching the weekly show here at CRK Training where I share training ideas, uh, riding tips, and also horse care advice. So today we're talking about this training topic. Now I have another video that you can find the link to down below where I go more specifically into teaching food manners when you're training with food. So we're not going to go into that today. I'm just going to talk about the different types of um, food and treats that I will use and why I use each type. So I have three of the main types here that I use. One is just grain. So this is just a, um, a bit of a complete feed that we have here that we feed many of the horses at our barn. I also have some little chunks of carrot here. And then I have a bucket of hay. Now, of course, sometimes I use commercial treats or I use various types of grain, or I'll use even little pieces of apple or other pieces of fruit that horses like. But the, most, um, the first consideration is one, does the horse have any diet restrictions? So for example, if I'm working with a horse that has some metabolic issues, I don't wanna be feeding them a whole bunch of carrots or a whole bunch of grain. The second question is, um, what is the frequency that I'm gonna be feeding with? Sometimes I'm just going to be maybe giving a reward after mounting or a few times during the tacking up process. And then even for a horse that couldn't have a lot of sugar, a few pieces of carrot or a handful or two of grain is going to be fine. But if I'm going to be training at um, needing to give a lot of rewards, then again, I don't want to be going through bags and bags of carrots in that process. I'd probably use either a um, grain that the horse is um, is part of their normal diet, part of their normal ration, or I would use a grain that is a um, lower nutritional value so that I'm not um, upsetting the horse's um, balanced diet, or I would use some hay or even sometimes pulling some grass. So remember the first two considerations are one, does the horse have any um, diet restrictions that you need to be aware of? The second thing is what is the rate that you're gonna be feeding? How much do you plan to feed during the training session? And then the third consideration is um, what are you going to be teaching the horse and do you want to have a longer chewing time or do you want the horse to be able to take the reward, have it chewed up quickly and basically quickly be ready for another reward? So here's two examples of when I would want a longer chewing time and when I necessarily wouldn't want a longer chewing time. So let's say I'm teaching a horse to take the bit and I'm teaching them to start to put their mouth around the bit, to pick up the bit, and I want to give a little bit of reward um, for that behavior. I'm quickly shaping that behavior. I know I'm going to have a higher frequency of rewards there. That's a case that I want to use something like little handfuls of grain where they can take it, they can quickly chew it, and then we can have another repetition of the behavior that I'm teaching. But let's say we're teaching um, something like standing still as I'm grooming. For something like that, I might rather use some hay because I'd actually like the horse to have a longer chewing time so I can do a little bit more grooming in between before I go back and I give another reward. So there's one other factor that goes into this, and that is the um, level of kind of motivation or excitement that I wanna have. So it's just like if someone offered you um, some cauliflower or a piece of chocolate, you would probably be a little bit more excited about the piece of chocolate. It's the same with most of our horses. They're gonna be a little more excited about a sweeter treat than they are about just a handful of hay. 
And we can use that to our advantage. If it's a horse that I really want to actually bring them out and maybe they tend to not be as highly food motivated, that would be another factor. I might look at giving something that they're really going to enjoy, a more higher value reinforcement. But if it's something that I really don't want the horse getting excited about this at all, I just want to be able to give some reward, then I'm going to be more likely to use the hay. Let's do a quick review on these four factors. The first thing, again, is does the horse have any nutritional um, limitations or requirements that you need to keep in mind? The second thing is how much are you going to be feeding throughout the session? The third is, do you want the horse to be chewing for a long time, or do you want them to be able to chew quickly and be ready for another repetition quickly? And then the final thing is, how much motivation do you want as the, um, uh, for the behavior that you're trying to train? If you want them really motivated, find a higher value reward. If you want a little bit lower, then give something that's a little bit lower value. Now I'd love to hear from you. Leave a comment down below. What is something that you're training your horse to do? And if you're using any rewards, what type of reward do you use? Leave your comments below and I look forward to hearing from you. As always, thanks for watching.